All right, week six, power reeling tip. Question was, what happens when I get my jig or my spoon hung? And it's not an if, it's when, it's gonna happen. Most times the spoon's not really hung, it's just wedged up against something. I've got one hung in the tree. The tree's probably, top of the tree's 45 feet. As long as I've got pressure on it, you can see the rod tip's got a good bend in it, it can't come free, I've got it bound up. So all you have to do is start giving it slack. Get it, see, now I got it moving and it came right out of there. Because all that's happening down there, provided you don't set the hook repeatedly, get it up here, I'll show you. What's happening when your spoon or jig, doesn't matter what it is, when it's hung, a lot of times it's not really hung. The hook's resting up against a, a part of the tree or branch. When you give it slack, the spoon does that. The body of the spoon does that. Well, that rascal weighs almost three ounces. So if it does that enough, it will eventually knock the hook out and your spoon is free reel it up you have to be patient it might not that was pretty easy it came out quick give it slack with the body of the spoon get below the hook it'll come out if it's a bucktail it's the same thing if you'll keep it moving the head of the jig will start moving like that and eventually put enough pressure on the hook it'll almost always come back if you're patient don't set the hook as soon as you know it's a, a snag get the pressure off of it give it some slack start bouncing you'll get your bait back almost every time